What is your favorite cereal of all time? Captain Crunch. No berries? With the berries. I actually made a rap song called Captain Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you with the it. berries, nigga, yeah, you like Captain the berries? Crunch with the berries. Yeah. Oh, Captain Crunch with the berries. Just ain't, Captain Crunch without the berries. Just ain't right. I'm addicted to the Captain. He's my crack pipe. Open up the yellow box and crush your ties. Eat them all the time, even during exercise. Eat it on a patio. Eat it on a sofa. Eat it in my house shoes. Eat it in my loafers. Eat a whole box anytime that is open. <laughs> you a fool. <laughs> you a fool. Captain Crunch. When you're playing with Tom Brady, right, the focus on knowing whether you're going to get the ball or not, how, how much of that is, is like entirely on you to really be focused on whether I'm getting the ball or not when you're running your routes? I feel like I'm getting the ball every single play, so every single one of my routes, I'll be like, <laughs> if they don't throw it, I'm surprised. Damn, man, what happened? I was open. That's next right. Play, I've, I've always felt like I'm going to get the ball, so... Um, I learned to do that because earlier in my career, there'll be times where you want the ball and you don't get it, and it's easy to go on that roller coaster where you're like, man, I haven't got the ball. So no, I'm not even going to run second, hard. Yeah, the, second, the first and second quarter, and you come back the second half, and you're not ready for a ball, then you drop it, then you're like, all right, now I'm ready again. So not to have those mental lapses, I always feel like I'm going to get the ball every single play. And I expect the ball every play because I'm always open. As you should be. And now, there's not a lot of black kids in animation or in tech. There's only been one major animated film that's ever been directed by African American. Mm. And it's been 27 years. Toy Story came out in 95. And since then, there's only been one major, major blockbuster animation, animated film that's been directed by African American. Mm. And it's just because we're not introduced to the possibilities of what we can do in tech and how tech has helped us, but we're one of the biggest consumers of it. Mm -hmm. So just by being an example for other kids from the community I come from, that they could learn that tech is a possibility. And instead of rapping all the time, you can learn how to do scores for films. Hello. There's so many different ways that you could go. Instead of playing for a team, we gotta start thinking about owning teams. Cause mm -hmm. there's not one team that's on, that has a black owner. Mm. Talk about it. So that's how, so, so my whole thing is like, hey look, I'm trying to give kids the avenue. Like, hey, you get scholarships for creative writing. No longer do they just roll you a ball, a football or a basketball and say, good luck. You can pick up a pen or pick up a book and be just as successful. Yeah, if not more successful, because now you're tapping into more lanes and now your body and your brain can really get, you know, the full use out of what it's really used to be. Yeah, and it's longevity, because football, that shit hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, dog. Last year, Marty was named to Forbes 30 under 30 sports list. Mm. Yeah, that was cool. That's big. Yeah, I got on there not for my sports, but for my business and stuff. That's, so, that's why it's big. It's yeah. not about it's what you can do off the field because yeah. on the field don't last forever. Yeah, I thought it was pretty. I was a keynote speaker at Forbes too, and it was funny because when I walked on stage, everybody like because it was like first it was like Bobby Flay, like everybody want to hear Bobby Flay talk about you know yeah, whipping, cooking and all whipping this it shit. Up, you know what I'm saying? He up there, you know, whatever. Then it was Michael Phelps. Oh, so Aquaman. Then, and then the last person of the whole entire thing was Martellus Bennett. <laughs> it was like Bobby Flay, Michael Phelps, and here's Martellus. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody started walking out. I was like, y'all, y'all can leave y'all want to, but y'all will y'all will miss out on the best part of the entire four. Talk to so, him. Talk to him. So I crushed that. And um, but it was big. That was my goal. I set that goal at 26 to make the four of 30 under 30. Listen, I did it. I just turned 30 in March, so I did it right before I turned 30. So <laughs> that was pretty cool. <clears throat> How many times a day do you think about sex? That's my question? Yeah. Shit. Sure. Sex? All the time. <laughs> on my mind. Everywhere I go. I'm trying to let you know. It's stronger than any drug. Even love. S-E-X. Oh, can drive you crazy, can make a baby all night long. It's the perfect song. Jamie Foxx, holla at your boy. Now. Uh, that song right there, I was like, man. Sex. I mean, I just, uh, I don't know. I try not to think about sex, but, you know, it's, you, know, it's, you don't have so much mental toughness. Yeah, you can't fight the power. <laughs> you can't fight the power.